Many of the same native perennials you see along trails in wild natural areas of New England can be integrated into your own landscape. Just be aware that most wildflowers in wooded areas will require part shade. Although there are exceptions, neither full sun nor dense shade is ideal for growing most New England native woodland flowers. And be aware that woodland wildflowers in New England are typically spring ephemerals. So here is the list of native spring flowering plants for New England gardens. Number one, Dutchman's Breeches. Dutchman's Breeches is closely related to the cultivated bleeding hearts popular in many gardens. This wildflower grows about 12 inches tall, blooming with white flowers sometimes tinged with pink in March. In the wild, you normally see it on forest floors and along streams, and this is one flower that does fairly well in full shade. In dry soils, this plant is ephemeral, disappearing by early summer, but reappearing the following spring. Hardy in zone three to seven. Number two, Virginia bluebells. Virginia bluebells Mertensia virginica is another native New England wildflower. Virginia bluebells grow 12 to 24 inches tall with oval bluish green leaves. It produces blossoms from March to April in most climates. It is not uncommon to have both pink and blue flowers on the same plant. Virginia bluebells spread through self-seeding, and the volunteer plants can be transplanted to other locations. Hardy in Zone 308. Number 3. Meadow Rue. Meadow Rue or Thalactrum includes several species that are narrow clumping plants with delicate foliage and flowers that are sometimes mistaken for those of columbine. They typically bloom a little later than most wildflowers in the Northeast. Meadow rue or thalactrum includes several species that are narrow clumping plants with delicate foliage and flowers that are sometimes mistaken for those of columbine. They typically bloom a little later than most wildflowers in the Northeast. Taller plants need staking, especially when growing in shady conditions. The rhizomatous roots can be divided to propagate new plants. Hardy in Zone 308. Number 4. Hepatica or Anemone. Some botanists categorize Hepatica as its own genus, while others consider it a part of the Anemone genus. Whatever you call these plants, the various species are among the very best native perennials for a shade garden. For one thing, this plant can make a big splash without taking up a lot of space. It also stays in bloom longer than most native shade plants. In other regions, this plant might be known as Anemone hepatica. Hepatica hardy in zone three to eight. Number five, woodland phlox. Woodland phlox or phlox divaricata has a qualified place on this list because it is native to only two New England states, Connecticut and Vermont. This 12 inch plant blooms with rose, blue or lavender flowers in April and May and makes a good fill in plant for borders planted with tulips or other spring bulbs. Over time, this plant will spread to form small colonies in the garden Pieces of the root sections can be transplanted to propagate new plants. Woodland Phlox Hardy in Zone 308. Number 6. Bunchberry. Bunchberry or Cornus canadensis is a form of dogwood that normally spreads as a ground cover rather than growing as an upright shrub. This cold weather deciduous shrub grows to only about 9 inches tall and blooms with white flowers from May to July. It is an excellent ground cover for large woodland gardens. However, it does not tolerate foot traffic, so it should plant it in protected areas. Hardy in zone two to six. Number seven, white baneberry or doll's eyes. Aptia pachypoda growing 18 to 30 inches tall, white baneberry produces tiny white flowers in spring followed by unusual white, berries on red stems. In the wild, it is found in deeply shaded woody locations. 
The fascinating berries are extremely poisonous, so be careful with this plant where children or pets are present one. Wildlife generally knows to leave this plant alone, so it might be an option in areas where deer are a problem. Hardy in zone three to eight. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.